The iPhone 15 is right around the corner, and a bunch of new features will come with it. Apart from the obvious hardware and design changes, even the iPhone factory will be majorly revised, the biggest of which will be a completely new production location. Where will iPhones be produced from now on, and what will this new iPhone factory look like? Join us as we peek inside Apple's shocking iPhone 15 factory. The iPhone was an instant hit ever since it originally came out. Even though it was always one of the most expensive phones on the market, the iPhone brand was, and still is, the most sought-after brand in the business. This is because they were always beautifully designed pieces of everyday technology that have been made to a high standard with high-quality materials and impeccable fit and finish. The high-quality exterior of the phone has also been complemented by high-end hardware and by far the most stable mobile OS on the market. What do you think of the iOS? Do you like the fact that it's stable, or do you prefer the modularity of the Android OS? Be sure to let us know in the comments section down below. All of this makes it all the more surprising to know that the iPhones have almost exclusively been assembled in China ever since the original one. More than 150 production facilities owned by Apple are located in China, and the biggest one is by far the Foxconn Zhengzhou factory, which employs over 350,000 workers. The whole complex is so enormous, in fact, that it's widely known as the iPhone City. If you own an iPhone, chances are that it came from here, as more than 500,000 phones are made by Foxconn Zhengzhou daily. Granted, this is only during summer, before the official release of the upcoming iPhone, but putting out 350 iPhones a minute is extremely impressive. Overall, the iPhone City accounts for more than half of the total iPhones produced. The Zhengzhou isn't the only factory complex that Apple has at its disposal, but it is by far the most venerable one, as it localizes a lot of different production processes into a singular location, which significantly speeds up processes and almost completely cuts off any shipping and transportation costs. However, in the past couple of years, the relations between China and the US have been less than ideal, especially after China decided to support Russia. There were also a couple of strikes and revolts that halted production of the iPhone a couple of times during the past year. Apple has therefore decided to reduce its dependency on China as much as possible, until it eventually cut ties with the country completely, and they've already started to look for alternative countries where they'll start manufacturing their products. Where will iPhones be produced from now on? The most logical answer to this question was India. Apple officials have confirmed that they'll be moving production of the iPhone to India, as their products have already been assembled there, so they wouldn't need to start from scratch. This made India the perfect candidate for a fully-fledged production of iPhones, the first of which will be the upcoming iPhone 15. India offers a lot of benefits, as it is much less developed compared to China and they're aching for foreign investments. China has become one of the most developed countries in the world, and their work hour rate has gone up significantly. This ate into Apple's profits, whereas moving production to India, which already had thriving Apple assembly plants, meant that Apple was going to save a lot of money, while also managing to develop a production plant of similar capacities as the Foxconn Zhengzhou. Apple will not only shift the production of the iPhone into India, but they'll also start producing the Apple Pencil there very shortly, and they'll eventually shift the production of their entire product palette. Foxconn and Apple also chose India because of their never-ending need for workers, and India, which is the second most populated country in the world, offers exactly that. This change of location and the lower cost of production that comes with it might also impact the pricing of the iPhone. It might get more affordable. However, that is still just mere speculation, and we won't know that for sure until Apple officially announces the pricing. The lower production costs aren't going to affect the quality of the product though, as Apple plans to make the production plant as advanced as possible, which leads us to the question, what will this new factory look like? We can assume that it'll look like the Foxconn Zhengzhou production plant, so instead of a singular factory or numerous factories scattered across the country, Apple will make an entire town consisting of factories and assemblies to further lower transportation costs and increase production times. Foxconn has already bought more than 300 acres of land in the southern state of India, Karnataka, close to the already established Apple assembly plant. Foxconn is planning to invest over $700 million in the plant so they can ramp up local production and make the complex as advanced as the Zhengzhou one as soon as possible. The Karnataka factory complex will offer all kinds of jobs, from working on the production and assembly lines, janitors to truck and van drivers, over to many other office jobs, 
It'll truly be a prosperous venture for Apple, but also for India, as many Indians are struggling to find adequate or even any work. The fact that the company will employ tens of thousands of workers at a singular location means that the complex will, just like the Zhengzhou plant, most likely include a dormitory area where the workers will sleep. These dorms are 10 to 12 storey buildings that are going to be located on the outskirts of the complex, and in their nearest vicinity, workers will be able to find different kinds of restaurants, stores, etc. Which also means that the massive factory complex will also be a great catalyst for small business growth, just as it was in Zhengzhou. Apart from buildings that will make the complex look like a city, the plant will also have wide boulevards, multiple bus stops, and many other things that are typical for cities, and which were already seen in the Zhengzhou plant. So saying that this whole complex looks like a city would be an understatement, as it'll also function like a real city, and we can expect the production plant that's planned for Karnataka will be as impressive as the one found in Zhengzhou. Unfortunately, Apple will not be shifting the entirety of its production from China just yet. They're going to reduce the production output, sure. However, China will still bring in the most profits for the company, as Apple doesn't need to invest any large sums in the factories that are found there for them to be profitable. The production process is already well developed, and it'll take some time before Foxconn and other Apple suppliers like Pegatron pack up their things and leave China for good. The Karnataka plant is at the moment considerably smaller than the Zhengzhou one, and it'll also employ up to 100,000 workers, which is 3.5 times lower than what the iPhone City employs. Also, even though Apple is thriving towards a complete centralization of production, that simply won't happen, as the parts that are found in iPhones are made in different countries from all over the world, like Germany, China, and even the US iPhones are only getting assembled in these major production plants, and these components are, for the most part, either left alone or they're simply getting tweaked or finished. Oh, and there's the problem of strikes that were happening in the iPhone city. Who's to say that similar stuff won't happen in India? After all, it was Apple, or to be more precise, Foxconn, who was responsible for these strikes, as their negligence and the general attitude towards its workers led the entire complex to a momentary halt numerous times. These halts cost Apple dearly, as it's estimated that the company lost more than $200 million per strike day, which is very concerning. That said, India will see a huge increase in production numbers, as more than 25% of all iPhones produced will come from India. Let's also not mention the fact that Apple plans to open smaller factories and assembly plants too, which will further localize production. Granted, things will still be produced all over the world, however, the total amount of travel that parts need will be reduced. Plus, let's not forget that robots are getting more and more popular by the day, and that the lower number of employees found in the Karnataka plant might be because Apple, alongside many other corporations, plans to implement robots into the production process in the very near future.